in this segment, we're going to take a look at Venris. And let me set this up for you guys a little bit. For those of you who go back to, for example, the July 4th event, you know that for sheer velocity, the overwhelming hit was the Venris 8.6. And it's, it's an amazing deal. And frankly, at this point, I'm not even sure if there's any left, but there are. You guys should go get them. So we were able to locate another Venris, and it's this one. Now, this one is called the Infantry. And it's in 316 ounce steel. One of the first things I want to start with is that this is a 42 millimeter case. However, because it's using the narrow bezel, as you can see as I'm wearing it, this actually plays larger. I also went ahead and did not buckle this. And the reason I went that far is I want you to see how generous the strap. Now, I wore almost exactly an 8. And I would say no more than a 9. And to be safe, maybe 8 and 3 quarters. But that should cover a, a lot of you guys in the audience uh, for sure. Now. To, to get into this piece, one of the things I, I want to talk about is obviously we did some research, and I've got to tell you that this one was hard to find. We were able to locate a very few of these, and one of the reasons that this is hard to find is that our source on this literally went, without exaggeration, went to the vault and carried them out from the manufacturer. And the reason they were able to do that is that this is assembled in the United States. Now, not a lot of watches can make this claim, but Benris does. Benris is a company, for those of you who don't know, that's U.S. based. It's been around since 1921. And they have very proudly assembled selective pieces in the United States as recently as basically now, right? So here's the deal. They went over and they got them. Now, as I stated, we were doing some research on this. And first of all, finding the infantry was nigh to impossible. So I did some comparisons and I did find some watches that are in the same or similar family. And a lot of them have a tan dial. It's very plain and so on and so forth. This dial is a beautiful dial, which you can't see in most shots, but I'll at least describe it to you, is that it's got a a, a, a kind of a texture that will appear and then it disappears and it's sort of irregular. The closest thing I could come up with really is sort of a crude asphalt, but that makes it sound well crude, but it's really not. It is very sleek and very contemporary, even though this is predicated on original designs that would have been in an infantry or military inspired watch, say from, I, I, to look at it, I, I would say is uh, 1940s, 1950s US military. Now, they carried over some of the color from the military influence. For example, this is loomed up, but you wouldn't know it at first glance because they're using this really cool and, frankly, much more expensive loom process. And it results in this uh, tan, almost a, a sand color. So the hands are finished in that. And then the, uh, the uh, numerals, which in this case are the Arabic numerals, are also finished to that. Now, another thing that immediately makes this a standout is that this does have the color bars on the dial. Almost no other example I could find has that. So you've actually got the red, white, and blue, and it's presented along with the Benaris label and stars just below the 12. Now, much like they use that sand color in the hands and the Arabic numbers, you're going to see that the white on the bar is a little antique, but it's not really sand. It's like a weathered look. It's very cool. So you've got the red, white, and blue across the bars. And again, that ties back, obviously, to the fact that this is built, uh, assembled, to be clear, in the United States. Now, as I stated, we were doing our research on this, and one of the things we found is that the pieces, and they were largely sold out, that are out there use a Japanese movement. Now, first of all, they were selling out as in no longer available in roughly the $200 range, $210, $200, $195, and so on. So one of the first things I want to point out is that this particular watch does not use the Japanese movement. And I'm not knocking Japanese movements. They're rock solid, and I wear them, and they're great and all that. But this one uses a Japanese, excuse me, not a Japanese. This one uses a quartz movement. Specifically, it's the Swiss, uh, Swiss. It's the Swiss ISA 608. And so you've actually, for those of you, and understandably, you're a fan of the Swiss movements. Clearly, this piece is going to absolutely nail that, right? And that's a very good thing. Now, you've got, as I mentioned, the texture dial, the very cool loom, 42 millimeter case, all 316, all 316 ounce steel, and it plays larger. But let's also talk about the back of the watch. The back of the watch, and I hope this is coming across in the shots, the back of the watch is a sculpted back, and it's pretty heavily sculpted, by the way. There's a clear 3D thing going on, so it's got this really cool five-pointed star, and on the back, you're going to see that it lists the Swiss ISA as the movement, and so on and so forth. So let's come back and talk about that. I mentioned earlier that the pieces in the research I was finding, a lot of them are listing the Japanese quartz movements. Again, rock solid movements, but I think we can all agree they don't have the cachet that the Swiss does, right? Okay, this has the Swiss, but it was the Japanese 
movement examples that were selling out roughly 210, 200, so on. They, they were just gone. I did mention earlier that I found this example in a pretty rare instance. I don't recall it being available, but even if it is, I'll tell you right now, it was $179. So here's the thing. And I should probably be clear, just because they went to the vault doesn't mean that they got a ton of these. We have a relative few, but good news. This is going to blow out through TAW for just $49.95. Now, when I was comparing, comparing this, I, I tried to find manufacturer-suggested retail. Now, I did, for example, uh, confirm that the bigger brother of this, the 8.6, listed for $395. Now, that one's a heavier build. It was 44 millimeter versus the 42 here. Uh, both of them have mineral crystal. Both of them are 5 atmosphere water resistant, and both, frankly, look beautiful on. So... I factored in that this one's a little smaller, it's a little less complex, even though the movement is in essence identical. So I'm estimating this at roughly around $295. And also keep in mind that with the Japanese movement examples, they were selling out, and I assume they're still sold out right now. And the 200, 210, 190 thereabouts did find this one at 179 at 49.99. With shipping included, this piece is an absolute steal. One final thing I will mention, is the leather strap. Oh, by the way, sign buckle and uh, matching buckle. Uh, it's custom for Benaris, and the brushing here matches the brushing that's up on the case. So again, attention to detail, but keep in mind, this was never supposed to be available to the public for under 50 bucks. No way. The leather strap they chose is a weathered finish. Now keep in mind, this is modeled after literally World War II or the 1950s infantry sort of approach, though it is built on a bigger scale. So they went after the look of a weathered leather similar to, for example, a, uh, like a bomber jacket, that sort of thing. And they've absolutely nailed it with a strap. It's a very dark chocolate brown. But here's the thing. It's really soft. There's going to be zero break-in period on this. You put this on first time, every time, it fits like it was custom made for you. This is a fantastic build, and I'm thrilled to be able to present it. So again, while they last, the Benarus, and to be very exact, this is the, ben, the, the Benarus uh, infantry that has the charcoal color texture dial, and it has the sand colored loom and the color bars. And again, the best of my research, I can estimate this at roughly 295 full list, give or take. We do know that similar product with the Japanese movement was selling out around 200. We did locate this in one obscure location at 179 At 49.99, to say the least, this is absolutely blowing up. And to be clear, our source took these literally out of the vault. Remember, this was hand-assembled in the United States. So I emphasize that these are not pre-owned. They are actually shipping with a very full warranty. This is a steal. So please enjoy this, guys. The Benvers Infantry, courtesy of TAW. Check it out.